Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create cool lightsaber effects using After Effects and the new free plugin from Video Copilot called Saber. So first of all I've imported my footage, I've got a little clip here. Yep, that's me playing with a boom pole. So we're going to change that into a little lightsaber and it's really simple to do using this new plugin. So I've got my clip in a new composition in After Effects and I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call this Saber. Um, just click on OK and then right click on that solid, go to Effect, go to Video Copilot and select Saber. And that's basically just going to bring up the default uh, lightsaber with uh, these two controls that you can drag around. And um, then I'm going to change the transfer mode of that Saber layer to screen. So we can basically see the footage in the background. Um, so there's a couple of ways to do this. You can either use nulls to try and track your lightsaber, but obviously if you have fast moving motion, then you can't really track it like that. I've tried that. It, it, it works well with um, if you have a very slow moving lightsaber. But for this example, I'm going to show you guys how to do this by hand. Um, and obviously you don't have to roto, it's just a few keyframes, or you have to keyframe basically every single frame. But it's, it's really simple and it goes pretty quick if you um, just take a few minutes and you do this. So let me show you how to, how to do that. So I'm going to switch off my Saber plugin so I don't see it, so it's a bit quicker. And um, then I'm going to click the stopwatch next to my core start and the core end. Okay, because I want to animate the end and the start basically. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and sorry the footage is a bit dark but I think it looks pretty cool once the saber is in there. So um, yeah just look at that face, pretty weird. Um, yeah so I'm just going to place the, the start, um, oh, sorry that's the core end and that's the core start. Just going to place those two controls there and remember to enable the stopwatch and I'm going to go to the next frame and now I'm just going to quickly run through here and I'm going to try and match this up. Uh, really close to the start and the end of the saber. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this and um, as you can see it doesn't take too long. Um, depends obviously how long the clip is. This clip is pretty short but yeah let me just fast forward through this and I will speak to you guys very soon. Alright so once you've done with uh, those keyframes you can just scrub through it to see if, um, if the keyframes are looking alright. Um, yeah so that's looking pretty good. And um, next we're going to move on to the next step. So if I enable my Saber now, you should be able to see the effect might be a little bit slow. So you can see it's looking pretty cool, but obviously we've got a problem here by uh, with my hands. The core of the lightsaber needs to be behind my hands. So let me show you guys how easy it is to mask out my hands. So I'm going to switch off the lightsaber again so I can see what's going on. So on the Saber layer, I'm going to go to the top to the ellipse mask and I'm just going to drag an ellipse around my hand and then one more around the other hand. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in there a little bit and I'm just going to move them into place. Something like this and you'll see you don't really have to be that accurate because the glow is still going to be in front of my hands. It's only going to be the core of the lightsaber that's going to be behind my hands. So I'm going to expand both these uh, masks and I'm just going to enable the stopwatch next to mask path and um, yep now we need to just go through and animate or keyframe these masks and I'm only going to create a keyframe at every I think third frame so you don't have to do this for every frame but yeah let me just run through this quickly okay so once you're done with these masks I'm just going to scrub through here to see if they are looking all right and that should be pretty pretty all right Cool, so let's enable our Saber again and then you're going to see that those masks um, don't have any effect on the Saber. Um, so let me show you how to fix that. So in the Saber plugin, I'm going to go down to my render settings and then at the bottom where it says alpha mode, I'm going to click on that drop down box and then I'm going to say mask the core because we only want to mask the core of the lightsaber. Click that and then we're going to see we need to invert that. So just click on invert masks and there you go so now we just need to feather our masks a little bit so i'm going to go and expand these uh both these masks and i'm going to change the feather amount to let's say around six maybe six pixels and six for the other one as well let's see how that looks and that looks pretty cool as you can see it still has the glow that's actually over my hands which is pretty cool 
and um, let's just zoom out here and see how that looks like. So obviously you can spend a little bit more time on the masks as you can see you can actually see the shape of those um, ellipse masks. We will also add some motion blur to this effect and that will hide those uh, masks as well. So um, next what we're going to do is we're going to go into the distortion settings of the Sabre and then under glow distortion there's a setting lock noise to Sabre. I'm going to disable that and that's basically if you have a lightsaber setting with a lot of noise like some of the electric uh, let me just click down here let's say energize or electric um, you'll see it's got these um, it's almost like a smoke and if you untick this then that smoke will stay in one area and the saber will actually move through it if you enable it then it will look like that it will look like the smoke is actually following the saber around and i just find it it looks a bit better if you disable that so let's add some motion blur to our saber. So I'm going to right click on the saber, go to effect, go to time and then click on CC force motion blur and I'm just going to minimize my saber and um, there you have all the settings for your motion blur. It's still loading that frame. It's pretty slow but it looks pretty good and um, the blur samples that's the quality of your motion blur. So I'm just going to drop that down to four so I can actually just see this a little bit quicker and in the shutter angle that's the amount of motion blur so if you bring this down to let's say 30 you'll see that you have less motion blur and if you take this up to about 360 um, it will be a lot more motion blur so i'm just going to quickly render through this cool so as you can see it's looking pretty cool you can obviously increase the motion blur samples to get a better quality motion blur and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do visual effects tutorials every week. So if you want to, click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching.